Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Legacy of the Dragonborn. As you can see, things have changed quite a bit since the last episode. But don't worry, what I've done since the last episode is I've gone through each location in solitude and I've cleared it out of all of its displayable items and just general stuff. I know it might seem like you guys have missed a lot, but uh, I had to cut a lot of that stuff out because it would have just been like five episodes of me walking from building to building, grabbing thing to thing, and I really didn't want that for this series. So I kind of, uh, so instead I'm going to leave a list in the description of all of the stuff that I got and where I got it all. As you can see, these are all of the cheeses that I've collected over the last couple hours. Um, let's see. Less than like an hour and a half, I'd say. And this is only like... It's not all that much. So yeah, if you feel like you've missed out on anything, don't worry. In the next couple episodes, I'm planning on, at 500 displays, having a... Uh, horror video out. So every 500 displays I'll have a tour. And you guys can kind of see the progress. Right now I have 266. Like I said, all of that is from here to here. Or here to here, I guess. And most of it is books. Like, you can see here that this place doesn't look all that different uh, from yesterday's episode, other than like a thing or two here and there. And that's probably how it's going to be for every time that I visit a city, is I'm just going to cut out me going from building to building, because that would just be really, at? really boring. It was, it was boring to play, so I mean, I'm sure that it was... It would be boring to watch. As you can see, a lot of the displays were books. Got Rising Threat. All this stuff. Wow, a good number of these actually. And that most of these are from the bookstore. Which I, I stole from a lot. As well as uh spent a ton of money on. I am also now around level nine. From just pickpocketing everyone I have seen. I'm not sure where I want to go with this character though. But that's what today is all about because today I'm planning on doing some questing. In particular, I'm going to do Tending the Flames and find King Olaf's verse in uh, uh, Dead Man's Respite. So today I'll be walking over there, maybe seeing some cool stuff on the way, hopefully. But yeah, 266 displays. Before I go actually, I need to do something really fast. Okay, just making sure to drop off all of my crap, all of the stuff that I really do not need. Healing stuff I need. I might try going mage, but I'm really not sure. Okay. Now we can leave Solitude and just head out. While off camera, I also crafted this backpack, which gives me 100 extra carry weight capacity, which is pretty cool. Probably not a great idea to leave without a weapon. I guess I'll... Eh. There we go, it's something. It's the big stick. And then maybe flames. Just anything is fine. Okay, so this uh, King's o King Olaf's first quest I got from the Bard's College. It's basically just to get me started uh, as a bard. Uh, if I do that, there's some stuff that will open up that I'll be able to collect. Ooh. 
Caravan. Um, this one needs something. Possibly. Okay. Ooh. Steel shield. First try. Oh wait. Yeah, I did. I got it first try. And I got 50 pickpocketing, which means I can get this. Yeah, whatever. I'm aiming for the you saw nothing, you saw nothing, and robbed blind perks, which will be very useful. Um, essentially, it just lets me get free stuff. It's kind of overpowered. I don't know if I can display these toys, but I think I can, so I'm going to buy all of them. Eh, there we go. I'm going to speed up time here real quick, just so that it's a, maybe a brighter day. See? That's what I wanted. A nice bright sky. I also have started playing, praying to Julianos to get some, uh, some Magicka cost off of my spells. The more I think you pray to him, the uh, to them I mean, uh, the more the cost goes down. So it's important I do that. So while I'm out and about, I want to find a specific standing stone that will help me a lot. And I think it's up here somewhere. It's not exactly where I wanted to be going, but it works. What's my difficulty at, by the way? Just making sure. <laughs> Oh, here's the Thalmor Embassy. I can't go in there yet, I don't think. But I can go around. I actually need goat materi materials, so I'll take some of these. Oh, oh he's using a pickaxe. It's fine. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's the best. I'm gonna put my first two points into commanded. I think that's where I want to go. Oops. There we go. Go to the mountain. I have to read her note, but I don't really care what it has to say for now. Um, steel Imperial Gauntlets. This looks like a one handed weapon. Yep, nice. Cool, okay. Um, there's the standing stone up there. Fortunately, there are some bandits up here. Perfect block. Not a perfect block there.
There we go. Lovely. Come here. Alright, my next points I'm going to put into block. And then probably timed block. Now oh, shit. Take that back. This might be tough. That was close. What have you got? Uh, I'll wear that. this into my timed block. Ooh, another quest. Alright, that took a while. But, I got some gold. I can sell that. Might as well. Ooh, very valuable book. I'll take that. Beggar. Nothing much, but that's not why we're here.
the steed stone. And what's your source of materials? Can carry more. No movement penalty from armor and train horses at a much faster rate. Ooh, -hoo. carrying capacity increased by 100 points. Wow, that is incredibly good. Yeah, also, here's this guy mumbling to himself. I can't even hear what he's saying. Looks like there's the statue of Meridia up there. I can get the Blessing of Meridia, which is just for restoration spells. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was really hoping that wasn't what was about to happen. Turn down the difficulty. This is combat's taking a little bit too long for my liking. God damn you. Even if it's a little bit easy. Heal. Oh boy. There's a lot of blood. Luckily, not mine, I don't think. Jesus, guy, fall over. There we go. <laughs> that took a while. Steel greatsword. Let's see. Eris put this contract out on us. I don't know who that is. So because I started as something other than the Helgen start, I'm not actually going to see dragons for a very long time. At least not until I start the main quest, which I'm probably going to start around like pretty late into the run. Maybe like when I'm like level 60. I usually do it like 
uh, Dawn Guard at level 40, Main Quest at level 60, and then like Dragonborn at level 80. Right now, I'm though I'm gonna fight, fight these guys because I just kind of feel like it. It's always a good reason to do stuff. Free stuff. Um, what do I really want? I guess heavy armor. Ooh, that's better than the thing I have on. Ooh, woodsman axe. Oh. Good morning. I should go. Oh, that was a mistake. I almost feel bad for you. Take that. She doesn't quite understand the stairs, I don't think. Regrettable. Ooh, spear. Nice. Guess that's it. Cool helmet. More cheese. Ooh. Goblet of Infinite Grace. That's a pretty rare item. The Winter Sun mod has a couple items that, like I was saying, it has a chance to spawn in any chest throughout the entire map. So it's very rare to get this early, if at all. And this is a really good one to get too, because I am currently praying to Julianos, which means now that when I pray, I uh, cure all my diseases, which is kind of crazy.
If I remember correctly, there's a chest down here, but I don't remember. Ah, there we go. Songbook page. Probably from the Legend of Zelda mod. Lame. 